Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures. This is my first video in a few days and the reason I haven't made a video in a wee while is just because there's been nothing arriving, there's just been nothing coming. So really really excited for the first time in ages I've managed to get my hands on some of the new wave of the vintage collection figures. It's a fantastic wave so we're going to be having a look at a couple of figures I picked up. Um, and yeah, uh, as, as of time of recording, it is the 31st of January here in New Zealand. Um, you still have a few hours to get involved in March Madness. Make sure you have your top 25 list ready. Things, But the best way to do it is to go to Instagram, go to SWTVC on Instagram and post your top 25 list there. Now just also briefly, I was really, really honoured uh, the weekend before last to be invited on Tim from Boss Bounty's live stream when they were talking about Marge Madness. Thank you so much for having me Tim, it was an absolute blast and, and you're really honoured to be asked on Boss Bounty, that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with that and I had some fantastic guests as well. So Chris from Bantha Skull, I've been going to Bantha Skull for years and years and we finally met virtually but you know, it feels like we've known each other for years because I've been on that site and it's such a fantastic site. And then of course Tyler from at SWTVC. Um, Tyler is an amazing guy, massive army builder and really good at ironing too. He'll show, he's got a tutorial on there showing you how to get the most out of your soft goods capes. Anyway, it was an absolute blast to be on there. Thanks everyone for watching, thanks everyone for commenting. I saw the comments scrolling by people saying hi to me and I really, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, well anyway, after all that am rambling on, let's just get on and have a look at the figures I picked up. As you can see, very well packed in a very small box, which was packed in an even bigger box with stickers all over it saying fragile, fragile, fragile. So thanks to the seller for that. Let's pull these out so you can see what I have. And there we are, I skipped right ahead because I don't really want to be doing an unpacking video, it's just lots of rustling. Um, and as you can see here, I have got Cassian Andor from Andor and this has come in extremely minty condition looks fantastic great image there the Andor logo beautiful 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 on the back here's VC 261 and you can see some of the others in the wave so really excited to finally have a figure from Andor um, and then we have this guy the Klatuinian Raider from the Mandalorian and I just this image of the ATST Raider is fantastic. I really love it. It's a real homage to the the original ATST driver, which had an image of the ATST and not the driver. You can see here it's the same figure that was packed in with the Raider. We'll have a look at that later. Great to have this one finally as well. Again in very minty condition, and that is VC two hundred and sixty six. So I did also pick up another Dark Trooper this week, and that takes my Dark Trooper total to four, and I think that's enough for me given the price of them. Um, yeah, four is probably enough for me at this stage. And then I also managed to, on one of the Facebook groups, the New Zealand Action Figure Collectors, I managed to pick up this one for an absolute bargain. And this is the Din Djarin build-up pack, and I love this one because it comes with the Camtono and the swap all head and stuff, so I basically bought that for the extras. Uh, back to the new wave though, again let's have a look at the back of the Klatuinian Raider card and have a look at the other um, figures in this wave. So the, the Darth Vader and the Obi-Wan Kenobi are obviously not in this wave, but we've got the Luke Skywalker um, Imperial Light Cruiser, i.e. the Rescue. I had a couple of those on the way from Amazon Australia, hopefully they'll be here in a couple of weeks. I haven't ordered a Cal Kestis yet. Um, this is my first Cassian Andor. I actually have another Cassian Andor and a Valsartha on pre-order as well from Mighty Ape in New Zealand and I have a couple of those artillery stormtroopers on pre-order from Mighty Ape. One of the things about collecting in New Zealand is you can't always be sure which retailers are going to get what figures so whether they're getting them in um, single figure case assortments or you know cases of the same figure or what they're doing it's really hard to tell. Some of them you can pre-order some of the figures in the wave but not others you never know who's going to get it first and you never know what's going to turn up at retail either so it's a real jackpot so kind of exciting to have these in hand finally right if you've ever watched any of my reviews before you know i love comparisons and i just couldn't help myself with this comparison on the left the new clatoinian raider and the picture of that atst raider compared with the atst driver that came out last year or the year before for the 50th anniversary of lucasfilm and I think they complement each other really well. Really, really cool card backs. Really, really happy with that. 
once again let's have a look at this beautiful card art and that wonderful image of the ATST Raider with the glowing red from inside the cockpit and also thought it was cool to see these at night and with the um, the search lights as well look really cool. Um, apologies in advance, I won't be opening this, it's in too minty condition and as you can see here I already have basically the same figure loose. So this is the figure that did come with the ATSC Raider. Um, the ATSC Raider was never available in New Zealand but I managed to pick one up when I was in Sydney just before COVID hit. And if you have a look, basically it's exactly the same figure with some paint differences. So the one that comes in the Raider has a more reddy brown paint job for his holster and what have you and then there's various other just minor differences to the paint. He's got that pistol which is permanently sculpted into the holster and then comes with a separate pistol as well which I'm glad I watched a video when I got that because I almost lost that pistol because it was just a uh, part of the taped into the packaging there. Um, but anyway, if you want to see more detail or comparison of those two figures, then I recommend you check out Boss Bounty's review. And just finishing off with Cassian Andor, I'm going to do a review of him in a separate video. One, because this card is absolutely mint and I can't bring myself to open it right now. And two, I think he deserves his own review. But in the meantime, you can see him there with a patch from Frank at Padawan Bear Patches. Check him out on eBay and with B2 EMO. So great to have a human character finally to go with this B2 EMO and that B2, B2 EMO, I'm struggling with that aren't I? B2, um, I got that from CJ at Bantha Skull aka Dustin, thanks very much mate for sending that to Randy who put it in a package and sent it over to me so yeah, great to have started my Andor collection finally, it was such a great TV show and good to start getting figures from that anyway, I am middle aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures thank you so much for watching this video Kakite and I'll see you on another one.